good, Aga Force. We have the cringiest rap battle of all time. Let's get straight into it. Stop. You can never go hard. The only moaning you hear is when your mom sees your report card. <laughs> <laughs> Why did he turn around? Once here, please just go out of state. You're a zero star while I'm a five star rate. All right. Even if you do get a girl, man, you'll always be late. You're you're a senior. You're six, six foot two. You can't even get a date. <laughs> I see you coming at me like you want to ping a fight, but the only things more pathetic than your bars are your height. <laughs> I'm getting kind of nervous, and this is getting kind of suspenseful. But you're so freaking illiterate, but you look like a pencil. <laughs> Am I missing something, bro? Am I missing something? This reminds me of <laughs> Super High Five, bro. <laughs> this cannot be serious, bro. This cannot be fucking serious. If this is a fraternity, this has got to be the fucking lamest fraternity I've ever seen in my fucking life. Matter of fact, I think fraternities in general are just fucking lame. You guys are weird. A bunch of niggas in one fucking group, niggas. Like, you guys are fucking weirdos. But, <laughs> anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about it's a brotherhood. You niggas is gay, man. Hold up, bro. And now you got these niggas in here really thinking that they saying some shit right now. I saw this nigga with a fuck. He was popping a vein, bro. He really thought he was saying some shit. Look, look at this nigga vein, bro. Ah, that's just funny, bro. He said, you're so fucking illiterate. <laughs> You know I'm always in this rap game. I'm not invested. You going against me, you know that's a death wish. All right? You know, my raps are shocking. They're always electric. Why would I go someone who looks anorexic? Oh! Oh! Take bars. You can call me the cook. These girls be staring at me. They won't even give you a look. You should prepare yourself, because my next line will have you shook. How does it feel knowing you'll never be good enough for Brooke? Oh! He got him right there. I ain't gonna lie. Damn. Listen to me. If I'm an Asian nigga, bro, I'm getting dick implants. There's no way I'm living life with that small of a penis. Okay? There's no way I'm living life. Like that. I can't. You know? Especially nowadays, girls are getting so bold about telling niggas straight up that the dick is small. Like, I be seeing that shit all over, all, all, all over the fucking internet. Girls just talking about niggas with small dicks. Like, like they just ain't, they ain't got no fucking... They just don't got, they don't care no more about your feelings. I'm like, damn, bro. That shit sucks. I know any nigga with a small dick looking at that shit like, bro. Oh. Oh. It couldn't be me, man. I'm spending my last on dick implants, for sure. I guess we're still making Asian jokes over here, but you still really don't know me. I hate going people against you because you're a big fat phony. At least I can actually talk to girls while you're standing here lonely. While my two inch torpedo over here still makes your mom moan in. <laughs> what the fuck? Man, I see you trying to come up on me, trying to act tough. But you don't want me to come at you, because you don't want to get rough. You know you can't beat me, because Philip said you can't cuss. Hey, this time when we're coming home from Hume, try not to pee on the bus. Situations are getting slipped. This is for sure the cringiest rap battle of a lot. My ship is always sailed, while your ship always sinks. Man, you know I'm always going to win, because your raps freaking stink. I didn't know I was going against Randall from Monsters, Inc. <laughs> I'm gonna start things off slow. Uh, I don't know what you're gonna say. You're gonna, you're gonna make all these stupid Asian jokes and possibly that I'm gay. 
All right? Now listen, you will never want to go against me, not even today. But I will make a racist joke towards you. You belong in the KKK. Oh! You're standing like they're posing, like you're trying to act cool. But we're going to see how much of a failure you are when you try and graduate from school. Oh! We're about to knock you out your socks because when you graduate, you're going to be living in a cardboard box. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Hey, man, that's it for this video. Man, make sure you guys hit like button, make sure you guys subscribe.